All right, congratulations, my friend, Stephen Howe here in a brand new module. This is called Preparation. So welcome, welcome. It's an honor to be here. And by now, uh, you should have watched all of the videos in module one and also completed each of the action steps uh, beneath the very first video of module one in that checklist. So if you have any questions, uh, certainly feel free to reach out to me on Voxer. Uh, if you've yet to do any of the exercises or complete each of those action steps in module one, make sure you go back and take action on those items before embarking here in module two. Uh, so this is simply going to be the intro video of module two preparation. And what you have here is a speed of implementation checklist. So the purpose of this module is, uh, is really going to get you prepped and ready to get right into action mode, okay? That is the goal. The typical time frame for what we're about to do here in module two is anywhere from three business days to 10 business days. So very generally speaking, one to two weeks. Uh, this greatly depends on if you are doing this real estate business full time or if you're doing it part time and you only have an hour or so a day or two hours a day, something like that. Or if you're already an intermediate or experienced investor, realtor, broker, uh, and you have maybe a lot of these items already set up, obviously you're going to go through this much faster. So again, the purpose here is to go get some necessary things set up that are going to help us get results. Uh, again, I want to help uh, you move from faith to fact and actually see an ROI in your business. And this is an area working with folks for over 10 years uh, and even reflecting back on my early days in business, this is an area where we can fall into the trap of procrastination and getting ready to get ready because, you know, kind of playing around with logos and colors and maybe setting up a website or, you know, tinkering with a CRM system and maybe even printing business cards or getting t-shirts done. It kind of feels good. It's exciting. We're like, you know, you're launching a business, but it does not provide revenue in your business for you and your family. And it's definitely an area that you can spend days, weeks, months, or even years. I've seen people really getting ready to get ready. And so it does kind of feel like this nice, warm, cozy blanket. And as your mentor and coach, I, I, I just want to be real and honest with you. So, you know, my methodology here is like, if there's a few basic things that are going to help us go do deals, let's go ahead and get some necessary things just like set up and done uh, that are going to help us. But like, uh, truthfully, there are some bells and whistles or some other things, you know, to add on. And all of it is just really not necessary right now. So the whole goal here is let's spend a week or two and knock out some things that will help us and get those done. And then bam, we have to get right into module three, marketing, generating leads, talking with people and making offers and doing deals. So sometimes setting up the business and playing with logos and colors and, you know, uh, business cards and all of those things, it feels good. It's a lot more, you know, it, it could be in the beginning a lot more fun than actually marketing, having awkward conversations, talking with sellers. That's a lot more scary. So the warning, the advisement here is, you know, it, this stuff is going to feel good but we want to get into the actual work part of it that is going to produce revenue. So in this module, in the coming videos, we are going to be briefly touching on how we can get you set up with a business email that is for real estate investment only. Very, very simple. Uh, a, a, a phone for real estate that is not your cell phone that has a local area code to the market that you're marketing in. Uh, a local area code number is what we want instead of like a 1-800 number or something like that. We want to briefly decide on a brand name. How are you know, are you going to be the Ohio house buyer, the Minnesota house buyer, the Charlotte house buyer? Are you going to be 
you know, uh, Lisa buys houses, Steve buys houses. Are you going to be Trinity Investments? Uh, are you going to be XYZ Properties? We're going to kind of talk through a couple of paths there that I've seen work very well for branding. And maybe we're just going to go ahead and set up a little simple Gmail or in certain cases, go ahead and get a little bit more of a professional email and brand and website set up. There's basically two paths two tracks we can go down there. Um, does it make sense for you personally right now to set up an LLC and a business bank account? Or do we want to wait for you to go accomplish a goal, a, a deal or two, get some revenue and then get those things set up? Again, there's kind of two pathways that we can go down. Uh, it really is personal preference. And I'll kind of walk you through what those look like and why. Um, we will touch on the CRM is a CRM tool where you manage all of your leads and take notes and set follow up reminders and things like that. Is that absolutely necessary at this stage of the game? Uh, we're going to be talking about Facebook groups. You may or may not be a big person on social media. Uh, I don't do a ton on social media. However, getting connected in the real estate investing uh, Facebook groups in the market that you're doing this business is a very powerful tool. I want to show you strategically how to do that, how to be a fly on the wall, uh, which will allow us to do some, some market recon, which will allow us to build our first hundred buyers on our cash buyer list, which will allow us to locate um, the, the uh, investor friendly title companies. I'm going to go ahead and put that in here investor friendly title companies, or you may be in a state that does an escrow company or a closing attorney. Uh, we're going to get a return mail address so that you're not putting your home address on any direct mail that we send out. So by the end of this module, I mean, you're going to have these basic things set up and have, you know, rather than letting it loom over your head, we're going to be able to have clarity on these items you know, have an investor-friendly title company, have 100 buyers on your buyers list, a return mail address, stamps, computer paper, ink, a color printer, aware of the local uh, real estate investor. That's what RIA stands for, real estate investor meetup group times. Not saying that we go right out of the gates, but you need to be aware of how to tap into different things at certain phases of your business. And we want to reach out to the top 10 to 20 other, you know, we buy house investors, the other uh, wholesalers, and we want to get on their cash buyer list. There's a lot of, you know, spying on the competition that we can do and understanding zip codes and price points and just really immersing ourselves in the market by being in these Facebook groups, by being on other cash buyer lists that really, um, you know, can shorten the learning curve. So these, this is just a snippet of what we're going to do in this section. Uh, obviously, uh, you and I in the one-on-one -on -one mentoring program, you also have access to me over Voxer. Uh, and then we also have a kickoff call. So you're going to have this speed of implementation checklist the idea here is to get a few of these things hashed out, but really where this business begins is in the next phase, is in module three when we begin marketing to sellers. This is a marketing business. It is a people business, a problem-solving business, and that is really where things begin. So again, we're going to get some very basic things set up here. But we do not want to camp out here for long. We want to get into marketing because that is what's going to produce results. None of these things here are in and of themselves going to produce revenue for you and your family. Um, however, a few of these things can be helpful just to go ahead and get done. So that is all for this welcome video for module two. I hope you've enjoyed that and I will see you in the very next video where we start to dive into these action steps. Take care and talk soon.